Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech. And if you're looking in the background, that is a Tinkercad circuit that makes a sound. Today, friends, I'm going to give you some more tips on how to turn it into a song. So let's get cracking. So this is my third video on this project. If you've missed the other ones, I will have links up above. They'll be in the cards. You can click them. You can go back and redo them. If you're watching closely and you understand, you may be able to just work from this one. So first, let me show you the code. If you've seen the other videos, I took you to this page where we learned frequencies that we could use for notes. I took all these and I put them in now as comments. So if you look at my circuits, I've added from the first A all the way down to the second A on the scales. So to build a song, what I did was I clicked Google and I typed Barney Piano Song Notes. Now if you click on these and find one that has the letters, that is really awesome. So you see it's G-E-G-G-E-G. -E -G -G -E -G. Uh, this one's even cooler though, because it shows me the G-E-G-G-E-G, -E -G -E -G, and it also shows me the duration. So this is called a quarter note. It's filled in. This is called a half note. Now I set my duration at 400, which is a whole note. So that means for a quarter note, I would do 100, 100, and then since this is a half note, it would be 200. So now that I know these, I'm gonna go back to Tinkercad and I'm gonna look at my first note. Remember I needed a G, E, G. So I did 392, which is up here on the G's. And then I'm gonna change this to 100 because remember that was a quarter note. And then the E, notice I labeled it 329, is also a quarter note. So I'm gonna put a 100. And then I'm gonna copy that whole first note. Now make sure you've always got the semicolon after it. I'm gonna copy, I'm gonna press enter so I'm on a blank line. I'm gonna do control V. And then I'm also gonna backspace so these stay lined up. So my tones are all lined up. Now the seven is the pin that we're sending the code to. Don't ever change the seven. Do change your durations. Remember my third one was a half note. So now I've got a 200 there for its duration. I've put in an extra delay here of 9,000. So that way when we listen to the song, it has time to pause so it doesn't just loop too fast. So let's hear the first three notes of the Barney song. That is totally how the Barney song starts. So friends, that's the challenge. You can do any song you want. If you want to finish the Barney song, I've given you the way to get to the notes. You just need to do your own searches. If you want to create your own awesome song, you may do that as well. You need at least 10 notes, and then it's kind of like name that tune, where if you play it in class, I will come by and try and figure out what one you made. If you're on the internet, don't forget you can hit the share button. You can share your code with me. I am HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, and Gmail. You can also reach out to me on Twitter. I am HL HL Tinkercad. You can also visit the hlmodtech.com website and there's a messaging button where you can contact me there as well. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me. HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.